Every family needs a mother. The family of God, the Church, also needs a mother. And so, before the Church poured forth from the side of the Saviour, he made sure that this new life would be placed into the care of the best of all mothers, his own mother. At the foot of the cross, Jesus entrusted his mother to his disciple John. This is your mother, he said. But he also entrusted John to Mary. This is your son. In this simple act, Jesus gave his mother to be the mother of the entire human race. God is the only one who could choose his mother, but he did not want to keep her for himself. Only his mother was good enough to care for his children, us. Today, when the Church and our own faith is attacked as never before, God again puts his mother into the foreground. Father Kentenich, in a talk in 1948, recognized that the Blessed Mother has a special role to play in God's plan of salvation. He said, The Church is convinced that God wants to save the Church today through Our Lady. We are told by the popes of the last centuries and many great men who have recently begun to speak about the consecration to Our Lady that she can save the world from destruction. Utter helplessness causes man to stretch out his arms to Our Lady. You are the one. You must bring the world and the Church safely through all the storms of our age. As a true mother, Our Lady is not only concerned about the Church at large, but about each individual child of God. You are her concern. No detail is too small for her to notice. No child is too guilty for her to embrace. When the need is greatest, she is closest. My practical action of hope for today. Today I shall come to my mother with boundless trust that she will care for me. Every time I catch myself worrying, I shall say this short prayer. I trust your might, your kindness, Mother dear. I do believe that you are always near. Whatever happens, Mother mild, I blindly trust in you and in your child. We pray. O Mother, in your holy heart, deeply inscribe each name and as a sign that we are yours, write it with blood and flame. In love and childlike gratitude, your name shall also be deeply inscribed within my heart for all eternity. Amen.